Hey, Art One. So let's get out some of our first day art class jitters because um, I, I, I'm sure plenty of people walk into an art class going, I'm scared, I don't know how to draw or something like that. So let's just get the jitters out of the way and um, have a little fun to begin with. Um, this is no pressure drawing activity. It's called blind drawing. Um, and I'll show you how, do, how to do this now. Um, you should have this little packet in your supply bin, so you can go ahead and get that out. Um, I'm just going to do an example on a blank piece of paper. Like, don't follow me yet. Just watch, watch how I do this, okay? Um, so basically, we're going to give you something to draw, um, and you have to draw it blindly. So <laughs> uh, I'm going to start with an insect. No, you're not drawing it. Drop your pencils. You don't need to draw. Um, I thought of a praying mantis. I think these are pretty cool. So I just wanted to <coughs> excuse me. I wanted to refresh my memory on what a praying mantis kind of looks like. So I decided to take a look at some pictures real quick. And I encourage you guys to do the same just real quick before you get anything to draw. So um, this is like the method. Here we go. Look at praying mantis. Got the bulging eyes. Got the antenna. Got leafy looking parts. And like, I don't know, looks like six legs and like a leaf for a tushy or something like that. Okay, so I am just reminding myself what this looks like, and, and we're done, we're done, we're done, we're done, okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to try to draw it blindly. So um, I'm going to put my paper down. You don't need to do this yet, just, yet, just, um, just go ahead and watch me do it. So I remember it has kind of like a triangular face with like really bulging eyes, and then like a really skinny body, and it's got like that leaf for the booty <laughs> or like it was I don't know what that was it was part of its body and then it's got like okay like six legs and two more up here <laughs> um okay and then it's got like it's okay so it's a praying mantis right so I'm gonna make it look like it's praying so it's got like thicker like front legs and then like probably that one is back there somehow I'm not trying to look like it's praying and um and then okay so it had like oh there's two antenna okay I'm trying to remember everything about it and it has two antennas sticking out of its head and then is there anything else there's like little spots on it and stuff um I don't know uh, maybe it's like sitting in some grass I care or like a, it's on a twig in a tree I can't remember okay um but those are the parts of the praying mantis I remember so Nice. <laughs> hey, not bad. Um, that's my praying mantis. Oh my God. The antenna ended up on its back. <laughs> that's okay. Um, and apparently my praying mantis is just jumping off the stick. Okay. Whatever. Um, go ahead. It's your turn now. We'll do three of these just for fun, just to get the jitters out. Um, we'll do it on the packet. So do number one and number two and number three, and then don't worry about the rest of the packet. We will do that together when I come back actually in the room with you. Um, so to our lovely sub who's taking over the class, um, I'm going to probably provide some suggestions or if you guys want to provide a suggestion, you know, raise your hand, shout it out, or, uh, raise your hand and like tell our wonderful sub. And then, you know, whether, whatever it is, so it could be, you know, like, uh, um, it could be anything. It could be a llama. Okay. And, you know, take a, take a look at some pictures of a llama first um, just to refresh your memory, what they look like, and then uh, go ahead and do some blind drawing. Keep your eyes blinded the whole time or shut them or something like that. Don't worry um, about what it looks like. It's more fun that way, right? It's way more fun that way. So let's have some fun with this. Um, oh, you know, what? I'm going to give this little guy a name. I'm going to give him the name of, yeah, Dumbledore. I'm a Harry Potter fan. There you go. <laughs> okay. You can name your, your things afterwards. Have fun.